Okay, so let's get to it. I'm going to be using an improvised method of my own creation. I do not know if this is how professionals do it, but just bear with me for a minute. So the first thing we're going to need is going to be a blueprint actor. And we're going to call it dummy. We open it up and set the initial lifespan to 0.1, which is about 100 milliseconds. Now we open our first person character and we're going to be using event tick. I'm going to be adding a sequence. Now we create a custom event and I'm going to call mine out of focus. We move this aside and we call our new custom event out of focus. Connect this on zero and that's it. You can add later on any other functions. You just add pins and whatever. Now, on our new custom event, we add a delay. Um, 200 milliseconds is okay. And we're gonna need get world location of first person camera. Get world rotation that same first person camera now we add a get forward vector and we multiply this vector by float for the amount that we want our camera to reach how far our camera will reach outside I'm gonna go with 75,000 should be more than enough for any FPS game now we multiply vector by vector whoops no that's not it, it's vector plus vector. We're gonna add this one and this one. Now we're gonna do a line trace by channel. We connect this and this to the start and this to the end. Oh, the end. And um, here we break or hit result and we spawn an actor from class. This is where our dummy will come in play. We find the dummy and we expand, split our structure pin and we put the transform location into the impact point. This is where the beauty of the dummy comes in because now that we have spawned a dummy exactly where we're pointing our crosshair, we can simply get distance 2. And we get get player character. So we compare the dummy with the character. And this will give us the exact distance there is between these two, which will be our focal distance for our camera. 
So now, before we continue with this function, we will create timeline. Add timeline. And we're going to call it focus master. Master. We open it up. Add a flow track. And we're going to call this focus track. By holding shift and click, we can add points. Go ahead and add two points. We set the first point to time zero with a value of um, zero, and the second one to the max length, which is five, and with a value of the same value we used for the line trace distance, which is 75,000. We zoom out, and there it is. We just close this, and we have our focus master timeline. And so, in this function, we're gonna need three variables, which for some reason I already have, but I'm gonna delete anyways, so you can see. We're gonna make the first one, which is gonna be a float, we're going to call it current cam focus. A second one that is also going to be a float. And the name is going to be new cam focus. And a third one. This one is going to be a boolean. By the name is cam reversed. So now we set our current cam focus set to our current distance. And we simply compare the float. to our new camera focus here if our current camera focus is greater then we will reverse our timeline which is um, Focus master. Yes. And if it is lesser, we will play that same timeline. And now here we set our is camera reversing to checked. And this function is done. And now we just need to add some stuff to this timeline, which is gonna be new cam focus. We set this to the output by holding B down and left click, we add three branches and two truncates. We connect our current cam focus here and we add a greater greater or equal integer and lesser or equal integer. We also need our is camera reversing here. This goes here. We 
like this and this trunket goes to our output this one goes over here and this one goes over here false true these two truncates are very important because they stabilize the output of our timeline to prevent camera glitchiness and undesired effects and now in this part we add a timeline stop we set this to focus master connect this to here and we reset or is camera reversing to unchecked and that's it now for this part oh yeah this goes here now for this part we set our post process settings to our first person camera here and now we simply create the new settings process settings and here we activate um, only the settings we require which will be this one this one um, focal distance focal region far transition region and far blur size and sky distance I think that's all we're gonna need and whoops we're gonna need to move this we don't have much space left we're gonna move this up here okay we expand this we activate all these booleans And here goes our new cam focus and focal region and the focal distance is set to one for transition region to ten thousand far blur size far blur size to three sky distance to 200,000 and now we just connect this here this one goes to Gaussian DOF this one has to be checked else everything seems in place so compile again save it There we go. As you can see, where you point at gets focused. And also, the transition is smooth. And that's it for this video. And if you find any way to improve or tweak this function, Leave the comment down below and uh, maybe I'll update this video later on. Thank you for watching.